my package is finally here. Um, the box looks a little beat up, but in here I have two of the um, Project Rainbow Runway Dolls, whatever the heck they're called. Um, the Fabulous Fashion, whatever the heck MGA is calling them. I have Poppy and Skylar in here. They were my two favorites and probably the only ones I'm going to get. I don't plan on getting the other ones, but I do think overall they did a great job on this line. Um, go check out my video where I say all my opinions on these dolls and, oh, sorry, American Girl box in here for my last unboxing. If you haven't seen that, go check out the video where I open the FAO Schwartz Toy Soldier American Girl doll. Go check it out. It's a great video. Um, but yes, I'm going to be opening this box with my two new Rainbow High Dolls. And I'm not going to do like a review review on these because... I want this to mainly be me restyling them. Um, so more of a casual video. Why is this tape all a mess? This box is so weird. It's all a mess. Okay. These have actually been here for a while. I was on vacation in Maine. So I didn't get to see them yet. <gasps> Poppy! Oh my god, her box is atrocious. Oh my god. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Her face looks good. I think. I don't know. I'll have to see when I open it. But I think her face is good. From what I can see. So I know that later on you will see that her face was not okay, as I mentioned. Um, and I didn't want you guys to think like I was trying to hide it or anything. Like I was literally looking through the camera and I couldn't see it through the camera. Okay. And then we have Skylar. Her box is also crazy. What is her hand? Her hand is not attached. Oh gosh. When I open her, that hand better be able to go back in. Do you see that? Okay, we're off to a rough start. <laughs> um, okay. Hopefully this is all fixable. Um, it doesn't really matter to me that the boxes are a little damaged, but, um, I hope Skylar's hand can go back in. If not, I'm gonna have to contact MGA and have them send me another one. Alright, let's open them. Little update on the hand situation. Um, it goes in and works perfectly fine, so thank the Lord for that. Um, I had a mini panic attack because when I opened it up, I lost the hand. Turns out it was just stuck in all this hair. But yeah, let's open her up. Finally. Okay, so I just opened up Skylar. Ooh, sorry. I have tape and scissors all behind me. Um, and she's absolutely stunning. Like her hair, so pretty. They actually did a very good job with gel. There's a couple pieces with a little bit of gel in the front. The back, this is all like no gel whatsoever. Her hair is so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. Um, she has these cool clips. They're a little... A little much for me. I might end up using like one or two of them, but I do think they're cute. Um, her dress, I'm obsessed with it. Um, I don't know if this is real denim. It doesn't feel like it. It feels a little too thin for that. But then again, if they used real denim, it probably would have been too thick. But all these little studs on it, they seem to be pretty on there. They don't seem to be flaking off very well. I mean, I'm probably just going to display her like this anyways, so they probably won't. And then her nails. So pretty. I love that they're doing different nail lengths. I think that's so cool. Especially for, like, a high fashion school. Like, they're going to have some extra nails. I have to say, they did a great job on her makeup. I love that it is. And now, I know this sounds weird. I like that it's simple. I like that, like... See, there's like a little bit of glitter there, but like very simple. And that's something I kind of like. I like the attention being on like her hair and her dress. Um, and then shoes, once again, very simple, but very cute. There are these like navy blue color. Um, so it basically came with the doll, the stand, her second dress. Now it didn't come with the second pair of shoes, but those shoes can work with it too. Um, this dress is really cute. I haven't tried it on her yet, but it's super cute. It has like the little tag on the um, pockets. It's really, really cute. And then it came with 
I didn't realize, I've seen a couple of reviews, but I didn't realize it came with a bag and I didn't realize it came with a bag, even though I watched reviews. I don't know, I must have just slipped my mind. Very detailed. It looks like fabric, but I think there's like a lot of plastic under it because it's, it's hard. Um, but it has this cute little ribbon strap. Look at that, like that looks real, like the clips. This is rainbow over here. It's an R and then an H over here. And it also came with the comb, like always. And then this sketchbook that opens up and it reveals the design. I think it's so cute. Like, I just love the way the designs look. And this little pen that I am 100% going to lose within the next five minutes. So a little change of plans. This is just a Skylar video because um, I took a better look at Poppy. Now, I don't know if you can see it on the camera because of the glare. But her, like the shine on her face, let me see, I am going to try to get this at a better angle. This is super weird. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a, it looks like when they put the, like the shine on her face, it dripped down her eye right there. I got to try to find a better angle for this, but, um, let's see. There we go. There you can see it right there. And her forehead, the gloss is all splotchy. It's like scaly i don't know if you can tell because of the weird but her gloss is all splotchy and not to mention her box is in much worse shape so sorry my cat is yelling at me through the door um yeah so i just i'd rather wait and get a better one so I, what my mom said and i think i'm going to do this is return her at target because i did order her through mga but i'm pretty sure you can return her at target and then wait until i find one at target and um so that i can see them in person but um i'm very disappointed because her like i've never seen that as a problem i've seen makeup as a problem but never like the gloss on their face but yeah i was really excited to open her but Kind of disappointed about that, but now we're just going to focus on Skylar for this video, and then we'll do a separate video about Poppy another time. I just went to go take pictures of it in case MJ needed the pictures, and I just realized her box is all messed up, and it looks like she's crying. Okay, so I am finally in the bathroom ready to restyle her. I have never before in my life washed these tight ringlet curls. Wait, I might have washed Georgia. Either way, I haven't washed anything like exactly like this. Hopefully her curls still stay in. Either way, I'm probably gonna touch it up with my tiny curling iron. Um, or um, these curls are actually much smaller than the curling iron makes. So I, what I might do is I might use the end of like the metal tip comb and put like a straightener over it or something like that to try to make the tiny waves. But either way, I should be able to fix them. Either way, I'm not going to be washing it super hard. It's really just these first few strands that um, need washing. But other than that, it's good. So I'm going to so wash. So now I'm just putting some shampoo in her hair and then I am going to wash it. I also just wanted to add in here that as much as I love dolls like Daphne, um, I her anim Skylar's animation had waves in her hair like crimps. And I'm really glad that she had the tight ringlet curls because I feel like they fit her so well and they look so pretty. And I love how her hair is. Okay, so I will usually do conditioner, but her curls stay stayed so nice. And I actually don't think she needs conditioner. Um, her hair feels very smooth. Some of the curls came a little messy, like this one in particular. But like, they're not bad. I can easily touch this up. Style and like, whatever I do, I always leave their hair a little wet because I find it easier to restyle. If not, I use a spray bottle. But yeah, I'll probably come back to her in a few hours, but I'm obsessed with her. She's so pretty. I'm so glad to see one of my favorite original Rainbow High characters um, remade with uh, Rainbow High's better quality and everything. So I'm so happy to have her. Okay, so while this beautiful girl is drying, I want to take a minute to show you my new Rainbow High setup because I actually filmed a video for it, but then I got lazy and didn't feel like editing it, and I know it's never going to get out there, but I wanted to show you guys anyways. So this is my new Rainbow High setup. Um, I currently 
have them on this beautiful ladder shelf. I forgot where the heck my mom found them, but I found, I have it in rainbow order. I do have to have a few sit, but I think it is so much neater than I had before. Um, also, sorry, I need a minute to show you guys this just because I think it's so cool. The spirit jerseys for new emos are really cute oversized t-shirts for rainbow high dolls. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, yes, but I have them there and I used to have them over here, but then I put my, um, uh, precious moments here because I had them over here at first, um, right there, but then I got too many and didn't have room for them. So I put them on these risers. There's just enough room for them. It's perfect. So when I do get new ones, my dad, we, we already have the measurements and everything. We can make another riser over there. But I think my rainbow highs look so nice over here. And I just want to show you. Sorry, I'm filming on my iPad right now. And there is not very good quality. But I've been finger curling, like fixing um, the curls and combing them out. This is the side that is done. And then this is the side that is not done. So as you can tell, the side is much neater. And the side's kind of frizzy and a little messy. So I just wanted to show you, like, you obviously... Oh, crap. Oh. Uh, I just want to show you, you obviously can do a lot of restyles with very simple materials. I'm literally just using a comb and finger curling it. Um, and I, I did this all without a heat tool or anything. With that being said, I just wanted to show you um, the supplies I always have out when I am restyling a doll. I'm also watching Anna Basil Mentos and Doll Studio by Chris right now. Um, go check out their channels. I just, I don't know why. I love watching um, doll YouTube when I'm restyling. I don't know. Motivation. Um, so first I have this really nice spray bottle. My mom actually got it for my brother for his hair. And then she said, hey, this would be really good for your doll. So she got me one too. Um, I always use a comb. I usually use the metal end one for my rainbow high dolls. I have no idea where it went. It must be somewhere with my... American Girl dolls. I, I don't know. Um, then I also have a um, wire bristle brush. I don't know if this is what you're supposed to use for rainbow high dolls. I use it. Um, don't take advice from me. I don't know. Go find someone else's channel. Um, but if you, I don't think anything can go wrong when you use those. Like, I don't know. I'm just used to using it for American Girl, so I use it with that. Um, but I'm using this comb right now because I don't know where the wire end one is. I use pliers if I'm attaching charms or like jump rings into their hair. I just have these clips that Skylar came with. Um, the rubber band hair elastics. And then over here I have, this is for jewelry, but I always end up putting jewelry stuff in their hair. Um, this has like pretty beads and charms and stuff. I probably won't use these for Skylar. Same thing here, jump rings, pretty beads, um, anything I might want to add in their hair. This I almost always use over here. This was just empty, so I put like hair accessories for that. Came with dolls and stuff that I don't use. I should probably put it in my rainbow high bin. But it has um, a bunch of different types of pretty metallic beads. There's gold, rose gold, like yellowish gold and silver. And I, just, I don't know, I think it's really cool to have a variety of different beads and stuff to put in their hair. And I actually found out that Believe it or not, um, I get most of my inspiration from the channel Rodney Rainbow. So make sure to go check out his channel. He actually has this same exact thing and the same spray bottle too. Um, and I didn't, I actually bought this before I even discovered his channel. Um, but yeah, it is really useful. So if you can find this, I think it's on Amazon. Definitely pick it up. It is a must have for dollars. So I just want to let you guys know I was trying forever to do this overcomplicated um, hairstyle that I made up in my head and I could not get it. So um, I ended up doing something much more simple, but I think I will try to do this hairstyle again on another doll sometime. But yeah, her, her style came very simple, but I still think it came great. Okay, so I ended up doing something very simple. I just have these small little braids with the star beads braided into it. 
um, and I went to go redress her, and the heel of her shoe broke off. <laughs> so, so far, not the best quality with, with these one, these, um, dolls. I don't know if it's just me. I got really unlucky. It doesn't snap back in, so I'll have to glue it. I don't really mind, but, um, her shoes are really pretty, and they are very thin and dainty, so I would expect that, but they are actually gorgeous shoes. So, I'm gonna have to glue those shoes sometime I'll soon. be getting a new Poppy, most likely, and I will make a video when I do get her. But I do think she's an amazing doll, and I'm so happy to have her in my collection. Speaking Let's of- Let's add her to the shelf. Have room for her? Right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, share this video with all your friends and family, and subscribe to The Doll Artist. And stay tuned for my video on Poppy and more videos to come. Comment down below what you think of this line and who is your favorite. What do you think of my restyle? And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. See you guys next time. Bye.